This week's episode of The Hot Spot is so hot. How hot is it, Megan? I'll tell you. It's so hot that I just saw the devil dancing buck naked in the middle of the parking lot. No, she did it. <laughs> so hot. Ah. At the beginning of the year, German company Acceleron introduced a pocket power plant on Kickstarter called Kraftwerk. Since then, they have been experiencing a huge rush because Kraftwerk promises to generate unlimited electricity anywhere, whether you're on a plane, in the Nevada desert, or at your office. The Pocket Mini power plant uses innovative fuel cell technology. Protected by 27 patents, the system converts standard camping gas or lighter gas directly into electricity. This gas is available cheaply all over the world. The highly efficient device can be easily refilled again and again and again and again in seconds. Kraftwerk is then ready to go and provides energy for an astonishing 11 iPhone chargers. I mean, that is amazing, especially if you're in an airport. For more information, visit the links below. In another crowdfunding campaign, but this time from Indiegogo, Canada-based Newbeam has developed a smart portable power outlet that can be controlled by users' phones. So we went from portable charging to wall outlet. The smart outlet connects to a smartphone, whether it's Android or iOS. It features a built-in dimmer and timer and can be remotely controlled from anywhere, whether you're on vacation or a business trip. I mean, is anyone else getting deja vu? I sure am. Who could forget the drum pants? Hey, I'm Tyler and these are the drum pants. Well, now we're talking about air drumming. We've all done it. Wow, dude, you got pretty intense there. A new motion tracking software is allowing air drummers everywhere to put sound to their movements so you don't look as ridiculous. Users wear reflective panels on their shoes and hold a pair of sticks with reflected mallet-like tips. A camera and high-powered lamp captures their foot and stick movements and translates them into MIDI drum inputs to give an accurate soundtrack to their silent performance. Kinda like these guys. Yep. Rock tambourine? <laughs> Bonding. And finally, a group at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory is working on algorithms that represent significant steps toward a better Siri. Dang girl, watch out, they're coming after you. According to the MIT group, the software that allows a planner to specify constraints, say buses along a certain route should reach their destination at 10 minute intervals, and reliability thresholds such as that the buses should be on time at least 90% of the time. Then, on the basis of probabilistic models, which reveal data such as that travel time along this mile of road fluctuates between 2 and 10 minutes, the system determines whether a solution exists. For example, perhaps the bus's departure should be staggered by 6 minutes at some times of day, 12 minutes at others. If you're good at math, all of that should make sense. Well, that's all for this week. Let us know what you thought about this week's episode and post your comments below. Want more video? Then go subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch up on past episodes. According to Hydraulic Bob, we have way too much fun here. You're welcome, Bob. For WDD, I'm Megan Ziba, and I will see you next time in the hotspot. I almost said a naughty word. You almost did.